Can you tell us the story of what happened when the prank went sideways and your car was filled with popcorn and you weren't having any of that? <laughs> yeah, um, I didn't play that game. Um, I forget who we were playing. Um, I didn't play. So um, I had on the suit. I leave my car keys and my phone and all that in my locker because I don't want it in my suit pocket, my wallet, all that in my locker. So um, the game is over. I'm the first one out. We bring it in. I see. Um, I hear what time practice is the next day. This day and the third. I'm the first one. And I leave out. So I hit my unlock button on my car and it don't unlock. For, I'm thinking like, huh? I always lock my car, you know. So that's my first thought. So I get to my car and I, I open the door and then popcorn just fell out. I left the door open. I didn't think nothing. I, <laughs> hey, I turned right around and went right in the locker room. I went right back into the building. I went to the locker room. I, I took my jacket off. It's a dead winter. I took my jacket off. I had a new T-shirt. I took my shirt off. Um, and I'm pretty sure you, <laughs> pretty sure y'all heard well, the, um, so the audio. So you're ready to fight. You're, you're, so you're <laughs> taking this stuff no, off fight, because you don't oh, want somebody oh, to go. Well, oh, who you going is, after, though? Oh, fight like, who is who you looking for? I don't know. I'm <laughs> looking for somebody. I don't know who it is. Somebody <laughs> saw something. Hey. Somebody saw Witness. something. I don't know who saw something, but somebody saw something. And I know y'all got cameras above this locker room. So who went in here during the course of the game? Run the footage. I need it. <laughs> and so who was it? So JR put the little ball boy up to it. His little <laughs> name Laquan that was running behind him. Of course. So he put Laquan up to it, right? So I'm steaming hot. I'm like, listen, give me JR's address. Well, he had just moved. Listen, give me his address. I'm going over there. Listen, Josh Crunky called me. The gym, Masai called Everybody calling me. Like, can you can't do nothing. I'm like, whatever. Bump that. Listen, what is his address? We'll pay for the damages, this, that, and the third, whatever. So I tell this. So, so I tell the ball boy, the corn, listen. And I told the team, he's not allowed to come back to the gym. If he come back to the gym, I'm going to slap him on sight. And I told him, listen, if you see me around Denver, Colorado, anywhere, you better leave. Because I'm going to put my hands on you. Because you should have knew boy? better. Yes. Because they Everybody. begged me not to do nothing to JR. Listen, they begged me not to do nothing to JR. Stan, everybody's calling me, can you, can you please not do anything? This is going to look so bad. I'm like, whatever, man. Listen, I'm going to get him. So, so the team paid to get my car reupholstered and all that, man. So, no, yeah. So, they, yeah, it was just one of them things, man, where... My April Fool's joke that I did to them was nothing near that. You Hold know? on, Kenny, you're still mad about this. Yeah. You repaired this with J.R. Smith or you're still mad at him about this? You know, I ain't mad at J.R. I, I got over it because it was just, it was a car, but it just everybody was like, yo, why him? Like, of all people in the locker room, like, why you pick him? <laughs> like, you could have did that to anybody else and it wouldn't have been a big deal probably. It would have been funny. But why him? Like, that's not, like, mm -hmm. they knew where that was going to go. Like, I wanted to snatch JR head off his shoulder. 